Okay, in this lab, we're going to be finding the calcium carbonate content in some antacid tablets. Um, these are antacid tablets. These are Tums brand, uh, and they contain a chemical called calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate reacts with excess hydrochloric acid in the stomach. It neutralizes that acid. Uh, during that neutralization reaction, carbon dioxide is produced. And by measuring the amount of carbon dioxide produced, we can calculate how much calcium carbonate was in the original Tums. Um, in the Tums tablets, it's not just calcium carbonate. There's also sugar and flavoring and other chemicals. Uh, what we want to do is figure out what percent of these tablets are calcium carbonate and what percent is something else. So we'll find the mass of these Tums tablets. And the mass of the Tums tablets is 3.9 grams. 3.9 grams for the Tums tablets. Uh, we're going to take a 2 liter soda bottle and we're going to put 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into it. So this hydrochloric acid is going to represent stomach acid. And the two liter bottle is going to contain the gas that's produced during this reaction. Uh, we're going to use our pressure sensors. So we're using our pressure sensors today. We hook it up to the bottle right now. And you can see on the computer screen that the original pressure inside this bottle is 101 kilopascals. All right, we're going to take our two Tums tablets so the Tums tablets, 3.9 grams of Tums. We're going to drop those in, and we're going to see how the pressure changes. So you can see the reaction taking place. The Tums tablets are reacting um, with the hydrochloric acid. You can see those bubbles that are producing carbon dioxide gas. And you're also going to see that the pressure inside of this bottle is increasing. We're going to shake it a little bit, help the reaction go a little bit faster. Gas is being produced. You can feel the pressure inside this bottle has increased significantly. Uh, the pressure that we're measuring, the pressure that we're concerned with is the, the change in pressure. So we started with 101 kilopascals. Uh, we had 101 kilopascals. The bottle wasn't empty. The bottle had air in it and that air that was already in the bottle was creating pressure. And so what we're concerned with is how much the pressure changes. So the tablets are getting smaller, they're starting to dissolve, and you can see the pressure in the bottle is increasing. We're up to 114 kilopascals. We still have a little bit of a tablet left, we'll stir it a little bit more, try to get them to completely dissolve. So the calcium carbonate is producing carbon dioxide gas. That calcium carbon, uh, that cal carbon dioxide gas that's produced can be determined using PV is equal to NRT. So we're measuring the pressure with our computer sensor right here. It looks like our tablets are almost dissolved. It looks pretty good. We got up to 119 kilopascals. We're going to release that pressure, and the difference between 101 and 119 is how much pressure was generated during that reaction. You can use that to figure out how much carbon dioxide was produced, and use that to figure out how much uh, calcium carbonate was in the original Tums, and you can use that to figure out what percent was calcium carbonate. Uh, right now we're just measuring the temperature inside the bottle. I have a thermometer measuring the temperature, and it is 21 degrees Celsius inside the bottle right now, 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're going to repeat this experiment one more time, this time using a store brand antacid tablet. We want to be able to compare these to the Tums. So we'll take our store brand antacid tablets, and they are 4.9 grams, 4.9 grams. We'll take a uh, two liter soda bottle, we'll add 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And we'll do the same thing. We have the starting pressure, 101 kilopascals, and we'll see how much it increases as the store brand antacid tablets react. So the store brand antacid tablets are a little bit bigger. We're going to find out if that's because they contain more calcium carbonate or if it's because they contain more sugar and more flavoring and more coloring. 
can use this information to figure out which would be a, a better purchase. Would it, is it worth buying the, the Tums brand or is it better to buy the store brand of antacid tablets? Okay, and so we can see as the calcium carbonate in these store brand antacid tablets react with the hydrochloric acid, we can see the pressure going up. We're up to 107 kilopascals already. I'm just stirring it to help the reaction go a little bit faster. We want to wait till the tablets completely dissolve. When you're doing the calculations in this lab, the pressure will be the change in pressure. The volume, it's a two liter soda bottle. Uh, we're not actually quite collecting two liters of, of gas because we have 50 milliliters of um, liquid down here at the bottom. So for the most accurate results, you want to use the volume of two liters minus the 50 milliliters of liquid that's at the bottom. So that's going to be your volume, and the PV is equal to NRT equation. Um, don't forget that volume needs to be in liters. The pressure is going to be measured in ATMs, so you'll need to convert that from kilopascals to ATMs. Uh, we're trying to solve for the number of moles, and then the temperature, we'll measure the temperature at the end. Don't forget the temperature needs to be in degrees Kelvin, so we need to convert that from Celsius into Kelvin. So our antacid tablets are just dissolving. We're almost to the pressure that we got with the Tums. Uh, they're not fully dissolved yet, so I'm going to let the reaction continue a little bit longer. We've matched the pressure that we achieved with the first tablet. We still have a little bit of a uh, tablet to go, so we might get a little bit higher pressure now. This reaction takes a little bit of time, but in your body you want it to take a little bit of time. If it produced all that carbon dioxide uh, gas too quickly, then you could also run into problems. Okay, we're up to 121. Tablets are getting a bit smaller, but we have a little ways to go before they dissolve. And we're up to 122. And it looks like the tablets are pretty much dissolved. We'll release the pressure. That'll be our final pressure for our store brand tablets, 123. Release that pressure and find the temperature. Uh, also 21 degrees Celsius. And you should have all the information you need in order to calculate the calcium carbonate content of the antacid tablets.